Hey what's up guys and welcome back to a brand new video on the channel today. Today guys we have episode number 2 of the Newcastle Financial Takeover Career Mode on the channel. So, uh, I want to start off by saying thank you to everyone that commented, liked and viewed the video in the, the first episode. Um, I, was, I was pretty shocked at how many people actually watched the video, how many likes I got and how many... Uh, comments I did get now as you can see there's a lot of players uh, on this transfer list and that is down to you guys commenting all your suggestions in the chat um, in the comments sorry uh, obviously I won't be able to sign everyone uh, but I'm gonna try my best to sign uh, a fair few players obviously we do have we have like 110 million to spend um, so I'm gonna go through the list now of the players that you suggested from the first episode there probably will be more as we go on throughout the like next few days uh, from people commenting as the video's only been out for like a day now uh, as the time of recording this so what I will be doing is like I said going through these players now and signing maybe one or two players now uh, and then maybe waiting a bit longer but I'll probably end up signing like three or four players let's be honest um, so before the video get does start off with the transfers you make sure to like, comment and subscribe if you're new around here. I'd appreciate that a lot. Now, what we're going to do is look for the players. So, uh, I'm, oh, I can't, I really can't pronounce his name. I'm, no, I'm not even going to bother. Uh, so, we're going to move on. Right. So, this guy was brought up, um, but apparently he might be a bit expensive. So, I'm not too sure if we're going to go for him. Uh, hold on, let me just filter this out. Now, obviously, these guys all play for the same club, and they're all French. Now, I am tempted to get this guy, um, but I am tempted to get Conte as well. He does have a release clause, but I feel like I'd get him for cheaper. Uh, this this guy is uh, Mukili. I'm not sure if, you pronounce that, if I pronounce that right. Anyway, he is on the cheap side, so I am tempted to get him. But then again, I am also tempted to get Conte, because he, he's a one overall higher, and he's a, a uh, one... Yeah, younger. There we go. Um, so it is. But uh, between these three, I'm probably gonna get rid of uh, um, Canio. I don't know how to pronounce his name. Um, uh, between these, Felipe and Savic, another two that play for the same club. Now, Felipe, he's only just joined, so unfortunately I can't sign him. Uh, but thank you for suggesting him. Savic is another one. Which, looking at the price, uh, it's a bit like, do I even want to go for him when he's 28? But he would be solid to have. But for the video, for the, the way I want to go about doing this save, I'm going to go for the younger centre-back, um, Conte. So I'm going to go in for him now. It says, valid at 16 million. He's got a release clause, which I'm not going to pay. Because I feel like, you know, we can get him for a bit cheaper. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go into the negotiations. Now, I haven't actually done this in about five, six months of like actually doing this. So we're going to do offer... I'm going to offer 19 to start with. I feel like that's a fair offer. Maybe. With a 7% sell-on clause. I will take that. I'll, 19 million when he's valued at... What was he valued at? Oh, does it not show me now? Oh, well. Anyway. I'm going to go straight into negotiations for the contract, to be honest. We may as well just get it out of the way. Um, to sign the first player of the season. Now, he would probably play, against, play alongside Shah. Um, at the back, so we're going to accept important role because again he'll be starting. Uh, that he, he wants a five-year deal. Okay, I'll take that. Uh, no release clause, which is fair enough. I'll take that. And now, what does he want in terms of money? Okay, I have to deal with that. So he's already on 32. So I'm going to give him 35. Now the signing bonus, I always get met. Like I always mess this up. But I always either offer way too less or not enough. So if I do that, will he reject that? No. See, I probably put a bit too much on there. But anyway, first signing is in the club. Let's go over to the squad. Now, I know Lascelles is the captain, uh, but I just feel like Shah would be a better player to play alongside him. So what I'm going to do is drop Lascelles down there and bring in Conte as the first signing. So obviously this is the formation now I've kind of changed to. Obviously you can see long stuff there. He will not be staying there because the next player which I will be going for is going to be um, replacing him or hopefully replacing him. So what we're going to do, we go into the transfer hub. Now obviously 
I normally like to keep these transfer bits like in one section. Normally you see people cut them up, but I kind of like to just uh, show you everything I've got. So I'm going to keep going down the list. Um, Lorente, uh, he was actually quite a popular comment uh, here uh, in the comment section from the previous video. Unfortunately, he's just joined apparently, so I can't sign him. Um, we're going to move down. Oh, it's not in the positions. Uh, so Savage, even though I think he would be good, the price tag does put me off. So I'm going to get rid of him. Now, the next person we're going to try and sign is Phil Foden for that cam spot. He was very, very popular in the comments. Uh, a couple of people commented and then the comments got quite a few likes. So, now, the problem with him is the price tag. Now, it says 14 million, but... He's a wonder kid. Do you really think they're going to sell him for that much? Oh, wow. I nearly offered the wrong amount there. That would have been really bad. So, I want to offer 17 million. Oh, no. 17 million. 17 and a half. I'm going to offer that. And that's a fair offer. Now, the thing is with Foden, I think I may have just overpaid for him a little bit. Let me know down in the comment section below if you've got him cheaper before because I feel like that might be like two or three million above what he's probably worth. Um, so we're going to accept that. He'll be starting in that cam spot. It was a five year deal just like Conte did. Um, again, no release clause. Happy with that. Now I think I have to do the money again. Oh no. Okay. So this is what he wants. So to be honest, I'm just going to give him that. It's a fairly cheap wage. Uh, the signing on bonus isn't actually that bad so another signing done and dusted so long staff unfortunately you know he's going to come out for Foden there Foden's going to jump in now I need to sort out this bench a bit more uh, I'm going to take him out and actually probably bring long staff in uh, where's long staff gone he's gone down there uh, we just picked up this guy 17 year old he's got a 90 potential from the youth uh, system so I've got him in there um, obviously, I'm going to mix up this. I'm going to sort the bench and stuff out uh, at a later date. Um, so for now, I think that is okay to go ahead with. Obviously, a striker is the next target, which is obviously what most people probably want to see. Um, but for now, I'm going to leave it as we are in terms of the signings. Uh, I'm just going to let you guys decide. Um, what you guys want me to do if there's any more suggestions now obviously we've got more players here these two guys Rashford Mer I'm gonna get rid of Mertens now because I just picked up uh, Foden um, Tovan uh, Milik and Bolo Martinez now obviously one of these strikers I would preferably like to sign to start now hold on this guy just joined I can't sign him I remember that uh, and Bolo only the release clause this guy only the release clause and Martinez is expensive so please let me know in the comment section what you want me to do uh, any of these strikers that are here and or other suggestions which you want and also between the two center mids it's either going to be this guy uh, Somar or uh, Kamvinga Kam Kamavinga Kamavinga I don't know if that's how you pronounce it um, oh he's just joined so I can't get him wow I can get this guy so I actually am tempted to just sign him but not yet um, Rashford, uh, I'm not sure of Rashford. Tovan, again, not too sure. Let me know in the comment section down below. Um, also, before I do cut to the next part of the episode, there is something that I do need to show you guys, which is in the email box. So we signed, sold Muto for 6.7 million. We got 4.8 in the bank for that. And we sold Syvet, uh, Syvet, or Syvet. Oh my god, I can't pronounce these names. Uh, 1.6 million, we've got 1.1 in the bank. So, if we go to the calendar now, we just need to go check what we can do. So, obviously, we can go all the way up to the 31st deadline day. It hasn't changed like it did in real life where it's before the game start. So, for the, ne the next part of the episode, I'm going to play against Arsenal and I'm going to play it probably against Norwich um, just to get uh, a couple of games in to see how the new players do, how the squad does in general. And then from this next two week period, we'll try and sign some more players. Um, so again, what I ask you guys to do is comment your thoughts for transfers um, down below in the comment section. Obviously, um, preferably I'd want you guys to pick from this list. Uh, however, any new people that have just seen this episode, didn't see the first one, give me some striker options. So basically, we just quickly before we um, head into the next part of the episode, 
what we want to do is upgrade one more midfielder I think I think someone to play alongside uh, Hayden probably so a centre mid a striker a starting striker by the way Yolinton will drop to the bench um, and that is about it in terms of the right back I think Manquilo is fine uh, other than that we're sound I think for now we probably could get some better squad rotational players but we're going to deal with that later anyway moving on into the first Premier League game of the season against Arsenal. Alright guys, before we get into the game against Arsenal, there is a press conference which I'm going to try for the first episode. Normally, I, I used to not really do these, um, but you know, first game of the season, um, let's get into it. So, Newcastle's excellent run of form in pre-season has put, them, put the fans in a state of constant euphoria. Oh, okay, I didn't get to read it. Okay, now I'll just read this. How does the pre-season impact the squad against... Uh, ahead of their first competitive match, sorry. Um, yeah, let's say we're we'll, we're we'll working hard every day. There we go. Um, I, I was going to skip to the questions. Uh, can the avoid? Can the team avoid finishing a lower position? Um, yeah, I think we're capable. Definitely, especially with this takeover. Oh, here we go. What do you expect from Foden? Um, he'll be good for the team. I think he will. I think Foden's going to be one of those players that will. Um, that will surprise me, probably, in terms of how good he actually is, but we'll wait to see. Anyway, we're going to jump into the game against Arsenal now, so I will be right back. Here we go, guys, into the first game of the season at home. I am playing on Legendary with Sliders because um, Ultimate difficulty now, since the last time I played Career Mode, is absolutely nuts. I tried to play a game in kickoff just to test it because I got told that it was really bad. I was like 5-0 down in the first 20 minutes, so yeah. I had to unfortunately use sliders on legendary. Hopefully this kind of makes the gameplay a bit even. Um, I'm not too sure if it will, if it won't. But anyway, here we go. The first game of career mode I'm playing in about four months. Let's see how we get on. Shelby inside to Foden. Inside to, oh, that's a poor touch from Hayden there. Here come Arsenal with Ozil out to Kieran Tierney. Now, obviously at the start of this game, I'm not too sure what to expect from the AI because I legit haven't played it in a while. Bamiang down the line, can Mankilo catch him? No. Shah is there to clean up. Like I said, <clears throat> not sure what to expect from them as Almiron plays a 1-2 with, I think that was uh, Hayden. Foden inside, Jolinton. Oh, just trying to squeeze my way through. But anyway, like I said, not sure what to expect. But hopefully we can um, we can start off with it. You know what? I take a point against Arsenal. To be honest, they're a decent side on FIFA, um, and obviously we want to try and we want to try and win. But for now, well, Arsenal on the attack. Can we get the ball away? Okay, Xhaka, Pepe, balls back post to Bamiang. Good header. Almiron, can we clear? Yes, we can. On the counter charge, Hayden. Your Linton, and wait for Maxim. Cut inside now. Oh, your Linton. Oh, Foden outside to Almiron. Can he shoot Almiron? Oh, what a poor effort that is. First chance of the game for us. Not shabby at all. A really nice ball down to Pepe. He's onside as well. Danny Rose. Can he keep up with him? He's done enough to block him. What the hell is just having there? Bamiang. Oh, it's one nil to Arsenal. Not a great start at all. Pepe with a weird cross there. I don't know what happened to my defender there. Conte on his debut. He's just kind of clattered into uh, someone there. I don't know who that was. But Aubameyang, he's, he's basically hit it with his knee there. It's weird. Anyway, uh, we're 1-0 down. Hopefully we can get someone back. Here come Arsenal again. Kieran Tierney on the wing. Whips across in. Keeper's going to get that. I'm going to sw switch that to St. Maxim. Gonna play it into Shelby or Linton. Oh my god, that touch was terrible. Uh, obviously, that is one of the things that has been done on the sliders to just basically make it harder for me to control the ball with certain players. Anyway, Shelby, your Linton. Can he play Maxim? Yes, he can. Maxim, lovely pace. Gonna keep going inside. Gonna cut inside. Maxim saved Foden with a bicey, and he can't get it on target. Here come Arsenal again. Ozil on the ball. Plays it to Aubameyang. Can't keep up with him. 
Good defending from Conte. That's going to be a goal kick. What I'm going to do now, 69th minute, I'm going to make a sub. Now, I'm going to bring on Atsu for Almiron. And then I'm also going to... Do I bring on... I don't know if I want to bring on Andy Carroll. I'm going to try him. Why not? We are needing a goal. Your Linton's not played great, to be honest. Um, so, I'm going to bring a player short. We're going to play out from the back. Conte now into Mankilo Atsu. He's just come on. Need some options here. Nice play from him. Bowden. Shelby. Carroll. Bowden. Making some nice moves here. How is that not a free kick? Anyway, Carroll. Shelby. Bowden. Lovely run. Oh, he can't get around the defender again. Aiden, Shelby, and that's not a good pass at all. Counter attack is on for Arsenal. Here comes a Bamiang. He's just going to run it down the line, isn't he? We've only got about 10 minutes or so left of this game. We haven't played too bad, but we just haven't really created many chances, um, which is obviously not going to help us when we want to get a goal back. Shelby. Wins it back. Oh, and he loses it straight away to Celebas. Through to Lacazette. Shaw, that's great defending. Can we counter-attack? Atsu, nice play. Carroll. To Maxim. Aiden, can we switch that to Mankilo? Nice play here. Can we play it into Carroll? Ah, it's a poor touch from Carroll, to be honest. But, oh, Hayden won the ball back, and then he's given it straight. Oh, oh. Bowden's won it back in the middle of the park. It, not many options ahead of me, but Atsu's made a nice run. We've got a lot of space here. Atsu into Foden. Phil Foden! Oh, and that was the chance to get the goal. That was the chance. I don't think we're going to get another one here. And the game is over. Unfortunately, we do suffer defeat in our first game against Arsenal. Not going to lie, I did enjoy the sliders. I, do, I did think that was quite competitive and it was quite enjoyable, even though we did lose. So what we're going to do now, move into the game against Norwich. Right guys, after that game, I was kind of worried about the striker. Yulinton didn't really offer much and Andy Carroll came off the bench. I'm not going to lie, he was really bad. So I'm going to bite the bullet here and sign, or try to sign, Latoro Martinez. Now he was highly suggested again. Now he's going to be expensive, he's going to wipe out a lot of our transfer budget. Um, so he's valued at 40 million. I'm gonna offer 46. Now he's gonna be they're gonna want way more than that. 66 million. Oh my god. See that wipes out near enough all of our budget. Let me see if he want they want 55 and a half. Now I'm just trying to try and get it down as much as I can. They, oh, wow, they only want 66. How about 60? How about 60? 60? So you, they're literally not taking anything. Let's try 62. I think they're literally only going to stay. Okay, 62 million. Now, this is a massive, massive signing. Because he's going to go straight in our side, up top. And it's a massive money move. Now, we just need to make sure we don't mess up on the contract side of things. I think we'll be fine uh, to do so. We're going to go and accept everything they ask for. Um, again, I, th I think, um, okay, salary. So he's on, I'm going to give him 80 and I'm going to give him like 1.2 million, I guess. 1.1 million sign on. Just because I didn't, I wasn't sure if he was going to say yes or no to that. But I just thought I'd whack that in there. Anyway, what we're going to do now is put in, do I get rid of Carol? No offence Andy Carroll mate, you're going to just go to the rotational team when needed. So Latoro Martinez will go up top. Now that is a big signing, oh, just press no. But anyway, we're going to move on into the next game of the episode. Alright guys, as you can see there, Latoro Martinez is in the warm up. He's starting up top in the next game against Norwich. Now we're playing away from home this time. Hoping to do better than we did in the first game against... Um, Arsenal, we lost 1-0. But anyway, let's see if Latoura Martinez can help us get a win 
Let's see how we get on. Here come Norwich on the first attack of the game. Char doing well. Now Foden picks up the ball. Naturo Martinez is there. We're going to play it to Almiron. 1 2 with him. And slide in Martinez. Oh, no, we're not. Wow, that's an ambitious pass to, um, to St. Maxim, but it's not going to pay off. Chasing this ball down. Can't see us getting the ball back anyway. We're going to move on into the middle of the park. Norwich playing some more right football. I don't really mind this, to be honest. Like, like it's fine them just holding the ball. Um, Conte always oh, missed his tackle there. Pukki. Coming out to Aaron's. Can he whip it in? He can. It's gone to no one, though. Shelby into Hayden. Foden picks it up. Oh, wow. That's poor from Martinez. Actually, that's a free kick, so I'll take it. To Maxim on the ball. Play it inside to Hayden. Almiron's coming inside. Foden. Foden. Lovely bit of skill. Foden still going. Oh, it's blocked by the defender. And Kilo now on the attack. Not really much in front of him, which is kind of worrying. That's a foul, surely. Yeah. So, yellow card for Hernandez. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with this free kick. I might play it short. I'm just going to tap it in there. Oh, wow, that is shocking. We've still got the ball, though. Oh, that's poor from Hayden. Here come Norwich now. Pukki on the ball. Shah, he's turned him. Hayden's there to block. Corner for Norwich. Not really having the best of game, uh, games, to be honest, today. Dubrak, oh, it's a good punch out. Conte on the chase. Not really where he wants to be. He's won the ball there. Should be a goal kick. Yeah, there we go. Here come Norwich on the attack. Hernandez inside to Puki. Back out to him again. Ball's whipped in towards the back stick. Danny Rose clears. Only as far as Vranic. Conte clears it. Oh my god, what is that for a pass? Pukki's through, saved by the keeper. Foden clears, Hayden out to Almiron. Oh my god, that's a shocking pass, and here comes Norwich again. Can't really catch a break at the moment. Hayden oh, wins the ball, but he can't keep it. And then there's on the wing, and Kilo is there to put him off. They've still got the ball, Norwich. Pukki whips it into the back stick, and Danny Rose at the back post. He's left the man. Ah, oh, they've scored. It's not. It's poor marking. Danny Rose in no man's land. Ah, oh, one 0 down to a Lucas Roop header. Here come Norwich. Hernandez. Mankilo, what is that clearance? I don't know what's happening here. Here we go again. Hernandez. Oh, edge of the box, and it's a goal, Duda. Oh, what is happening? This is not going to plan, and I just don't get what's happening. We're not really creating any chances um, with, with the players we've got at the moment. I just don't know what to do, to be honest. Ben Taleb has come on. I, I mean, even there, it's just, why? Why is that happening? Anyway, we're 2-0 down. I can't see us coming back from this. Norwich on the attack again. Puki now. Good tackle from Shah. But look at this. like Trying to clear the ball. Trying to play it around. It's just not going well. I really need to think about the formation, I think. I, I can't really get anything going with the 4-2-3-1. Um, and the players... I mean, Hayden's not very good on the ball. I don't really like him. Shelby the same. Um, we've got a lot of work to do at Newcastle. We brought in a few good players. Martinez didn't do anything up top. We're going to have to work on that for the next episode. Make sure to leave a like, comment your thoughts on the video. Give me some more transfer suggestions. We've got about 17 million left. Uh, we kind of need a few more uh, improvements to the squad as a whole. Anyway, thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.